Will all senators now stand or remain standing? Chief Justice uh, John Roberts right presiding over President Trump's impeachment trial now running into the weekend. And as Matt Smith tells us, Roberts is taking a lesson from a Milwaukee native. The answer of Donald John Trump, President of the United States, to the articles of impeachment. Chief Justice John Roberts, just the third Supreme Court justice to preside over a presidential impeachment in a call for decorum. I think it is appropriate at this point for me to admonish uh, both the House managers and the President's counsel in equal terms. Chad Oldfather is a law professor at Marquette University Law School. He is someone who is very interested in maintaining the uh, perception, the view, the reality of the Supreme Court as a nonpartisan neutral institution. And I think as a result of that, particularly given the amount of partisan acrimony that we're seeing in the Senate right now, it doesn't surprise me at all that he would be very, very wary of doing anything that might look as though he were inserting himself in favor of one side or the other. Roberts may be taking a page from a predecessor's playbook. The question is on the first article of impeachment. Senators, how say you? That of former Chief Justice Martin William Rehnquist, born in Milwaukee and, and graduated from Shorewood High School. Roberts was a law clerk for Rehnquist. That's perhaps the shiniest of all the brass rings available to a, to a brand new lawyer. Um, and that's going to be a very formative experience. So I'm sure um, that for more than just the usual reasons, he was looking to Rehnquist as, uh, as an example and I think is um, you know, following that quite closely. An example to watch as the impeachment trial enters its second week. For Upfront, I'm Matt Smith. Vice President Mike Pence will visit Wisconsin again Tuesday. He'll take part in the Wisconsin School Choice Student Showcase at the state capitol. You'll find coverage of the vice president's visit on the Battleground Wisconsin 2020 blog kept by our editorial partner, wispolitics.com. Thank you for your time today. I'm Adrienne Patterson. I'll see you again next Sunday right here on Upfront.